When it comes to testing products, I really like it when manufacturers make really big claims regarding their products. Today we'll be testing 12 different brands of Torx T25 Star Bits. One brand claims to last 50 times longer than the competition. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but we're about to find out. In the first test, we'll see how much wear takes place after driving in and then removing 100 screws for each brand. Then we'll measure the amount of twisting force it takes to break each of the new as well as the used bits. To test the Torx bits, I'll be driving in and then removing 100 3.5 inch screws per brand into pressure treated 4x4s. 1,200 screws is going to take a while, so I'd better get started. To standardize the testing process as much as possible, I'll be driving in all 1,200 screws about a quarter of an inch before testing each of the brands. Also, to ensure a fair test, I purchased all of the lumber all at the same time at the same place and from the same stack of lumber. The lumber has been stored in a dry environment for the last couple of months, so it should be a pretty fair comparison. At a price of $9.98 for 65 pieces, or only $0.15 cents each, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Cobalt. The Cobalt does not claim to be made for use with impact tools. Heat-treated S2 steel material driver bits for strength and durability. These Cobalt bits are made in China. Several of the brands advertise superior bit fitment as a selling point. The Cobalt seems to offer a pretty good fit, but let's see how it performs. The goal is to apply a really high level of impact on each of the bits. I'll be using level 3 on the impact driver and installing a fully charged battery before testing each brand. The bit holder that I'm using locks the bit into position to keep it from becoming retained in the screw. Compared to some of the other brands that I'll be testing later, the Cobalt just didn't release from the screw very easily. Driving in and then removing 100 screws back to back definitely caused the impact driver to heat up at around 150 degrees on the anvil and the motor. To help keep the impact driver from becoming way too hot, 10 minutes in front of a fan and a sub-zero temperature really helped cool down the impact driver. At a price of $12.97 for 70 pieces, or only 19 cents per piece, is this Ryobi brand. Impact rated. Torsion zone for longer life. Made in Indonesia. The Cobalt definitely provides a much more secure your fit compared to the Ryobi. While the Ryobi didn't seem to fit quite as well as the Cobalt, it did seem to perform about the same. Just like the Cobalt, the Ryobi didn't always release from the screw, which definitely seemed to slow things down a little. The brand we'll be testing is made by Masterforce at a price of $6.98 for 25 pieces or 28 cents each. Torsion Zone Impact Rugged. It claims to offer 10 times the life. The Master Force is made in China. The fit with the Master Force definitely seems to be way too tight. I tested several bits on several screws just to make sure it wasn't a one-off situation, but it turns out the results were consistent. You'll notice the 4x4 is moving around a lot since the bit was frequently getting stuck in the screw, and when I lifted the impact driver, the board was coming off the stands. At a price of $11.98 for 30 pieces, or $0.40 cents each, is this DeWalt brand. Impact-ready bits with flex torque have increased durability. CNC machine resulting in accurate manufacturing for optimal fit and a screw recess. The bit fitment with the DeWalt seems slightly better than the Cobalt. The DeWalt is made in China. After using the first three brands, the DeWalt is noticeably better. The bit tip and the flute geometry seems to allow the bit to line up with the screw easier. Also, I didn't have any issues with the bit becoming stuck in the screw. At a price of $19.99 for 45 pieces, or $0.44 cents each, is this Hercules brand. 10 times the life. Legendary performance. Professionally made in Taiwan for Hercules tools. The fit with the Hercules seems to be about the same as the Cobalt. Just like the DeWalt, the Hercules brand performed noticeably better than the Cobalt, Ryobi, and Masterforce brands. No issues with the bit becoming stuck in the screw. At a price of $14.99 or $0.50 cents per bit, is this Wea brand. Made of hardened tool steel. There's no information on the Wea packaging regarding where the bits were manufactured. The Wea provides a pretty snug fit, but definitely not overly tight like the Masterforce. The bit did release from the screw better than the Cobalt and the Ryobi, but not as consistently as the DeWalt or the Hercules. At a price of $18.99 for 35 pieces or 54 cents each is this Bauer brand. 10 times the life. Shock absorbent zone. Premium alloy construction. Precision design reduces stripping. Professionally made in Taiwan. Bit fitment with the Bauer is definitely better than some brands, but not quite as good as the DeWalt. The bit performance of the Bauer seems to be about the same as the Hercules. It's a pretty good performing bit that lines up and releases easily from the screw. At a price of $6 for 10 bits or 60 cents each is this Bosch brand. Impact tough. The Bosch brand is made in Vietnam. Bit fitment with the Bosch just isn't as good as some of the other brands. The Bosch has a pretty loose fit but still performed very well. No issues with the bit getting stuck in the screw. At a price of $10.05 for 15 bits or $0.67 cents each is this Makita brand. Impact XPS. The Makita brand claims to last up to 90 times longer. The Makita brand is made in Taiwan. The bit fitment is actually pretty good but not as good as some of the other brands. The Makita is actually pretty enjoyable to use. Just like the DeWalt, the bit is easy to start and release from the screw. 
at a price of $16.25 for 20 bits or 81 cents each is this Irwin brand. Impact Performance Series. Precision tip, better fit, less stripping. The Irwin brand is made in China. Pretty good bit fitment, but definitely not as good as some of the other brands. The Irwin is pretty easy to line up with the screw as well, but didn't always release in the screw as easily as some of the other brands. At a price of $5.97 for 5 bits or $1.19 each, the second most expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Milwaukee. Wear guard tip, up to 50 times the life. Custom alloy 76 steel, engineered to extend bit life. Professionally made in China from Milwaukee Tool. Very good bit fitment with the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee seems like a really well designed bit. It did a very good job of lining up and releasing from the screw. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing at $34.59 for only 10 bits or $3.46 per bit is this Wira brand. Impact proof. To ensure a good grip, the Wira brand uses diamonds. Made in the Czech Republic. The Wira offers a pretty tight fit and didn't always release from the screw as easily as some of the other brands. While it's definitely a subjective assessment, some of the bits seem to release from the screw easier than others. Bit tip design, tightness of fit, bit hardness, and overall geometry are all factors. A 10 is a perfect score and none of the bits were perfect, but the DeWalt, Hercules, Bauer, Makita, and Milwaukee seem to perform the best. The Wea, Bosch, Irwin, and Wira perform nearly as well. The Mohs hardness test is definitely not the gold standard for testing metal hardness, but it'll provide us with some great information. We'll see if bit tip hardness has any impact on strength or wear resistance. The DeWalt, Makita, Milwaukee, and Wira had a hardness of 7. The Baron and Hercules seemed to be between a 6 and a 7. I slowed down the video and audio footage to count the number of impacts to drive in and then remove a screw. The impact driver averaged 37 impacts driving in each screw and then 31 to remove it. So each impact bit experienced around 6,800 blows to drive in and remove 100 screws. So did the bit hardness have any impact on wear resistance? When comparing the new to the used, the Cobalt experienced quite a bit of wear to the bit tip and the flutes. However, there's still some life left in the bit. Compared to the Cobalt, the Roby did do a little bit better, but there's still quite a bit of wear to the tip and the flutes. The Master Force, which had a really tight fit, didn't experience nearly as much wear as the Cobalt and the Ryobi. There's still a very small amount of wear to the tip and the flutes. Even though the Dewalt didn't fit the screw as tightly, it experienced very little wear about the same as the Master Force. The Hercules did nearly as well as the Dewalt. It did experience slightly more wear to the tip, but the flutes look about the same. The Wea definitely experienced more wear than the Dewalt and the Bauer, but not nearly as much as the Cobalt or the Ryobi. The amount of wear to the Bauer seems similar to the Hercules brand, a small amount of wear to the tip and the flutes. The Bosch definitely experienced more wear to the tip and the flutes compared to most of the other brands. The Makita claims to last up to 90 times longer. I'm not sure if that's true, but there's virtually no wear to the bit that I used in the testing. The Irwin definitely experienced quite a bit more wear to the tip and the flutes compared to some of the other brands. The Milwaukee claims to last up to 50 times longer. Just like the Makita, it held up incredibly well, showing virtually no wear. Just like the Makita and the Milwaukee, the wearer held up exceptionally well, showing virtually no wear to the tip or the flutes. While the wear rating is pretty subjective, using a 1 to 10 scale with 10 being new, the Makita, Milwaukee, and Wera seem to hold up the best, but the Master Force and DeWalt performed nearly as well. Hercules and Barra also performed very well. Let's test the strength of the new and the used impact bits next. Since the impact bits do have a slight taper, adding a little bit of downward pressure to the bits will help ensure that they stay fully seated in the screw during the test. I'll be using my drill press to apply a downward force on the torque wrench. I'll go ahead and take off and remove the belt to avoid interfering with the test accuracy. I've also added a wheel to the drill press arms. Attaching a 5 pound weight to the wheel adds about 25 pounds of downward force. Since my old electronic torque adapter has been used quite a bit, I went ahead and purchased a new torque adapter which comes with a fresh certificate of calibration. I've destroyed dozens of bits trying to remove rusty deck screws. So let's see which brand offers the strongest bit beginning with the Cobalt. And the Cobalt brand did very well on the first sample at 167 inch pounds. It did nearly as well on the second bit at 166 inch pounds. The third sample was down slightly to 159 inch pounds. So the new cobalt bits averaged 164 inch pounds. The used cobalt bit showed quite a bit of wear and it lost a little strength at 155 inch pounds. The Roby wasn't nearly as strong as the cobalt on the first new bit at only 133 inch pounds. The second new Roby bit did slightly better at 136 inch pounds. The third new bit was down slightly to 134 inch pounds. So the new bits averaged 134 inch pounds. I was pretty surprised that the used Ryobi did better than all three new bits at 144 inch pounds. The Master Force did the best yet at 171 inch pounds on the first new bit. The second bit did nearly the same at 172 inch pounds. The third was down slightly to 170 inch pounds. So very consistent results at 171 inch pounds on average for the Master Force bits. The used Master Force bit was actually quite a bit stronger at 183 inch pounds. The first DeWalt bit broke at 155 inch pounds. The second bit did slightly better at 158. 
The third bit was down slightly to 156. So pretty consistent results for the DeWalt averaging 156 inch pounds. The used DeWalt performed nearly the same as a new at 158 inch pounds. I only have three Hercules bits to work with. The first new bit broke at 158 inch pounds. The second one did slightly better at 169. The used Hercules bit broke at 158, the same as the first new bit. The first Wea bit did the best yet at 173 inch pounds. The second bit snapped at exactly the same at 173 inch pounds. The third bit snapped at exactly the same as the first two at 173 inch pounds. So very consistent results from the Wea brand. The used Wea bit performed nearly the same as the new bits at 168 inch pounds. The first Bauer bit snapped at 158 inch pounds. The second Bauer bit did slightly better at 160 inch pounds. The third bit was down slightly to 157. So 158 inch pounds on average for the Bauer. The used Bauer bit did slightly better than the new bits at 164 inch pounds. The first new Bosch bit broke at 161 inch pounds. The second bit did slightly better at 163. The third did the best yet at 169. So the Bosch brand averaged 164 inch pounds for the new bits. The used Bosch bit performed nearly as well as the new bits at 158 inch pounds. The first new Makita bit snapped at 166 inch pounds. The second bit was down slightly to 158. The third bit broke at 160 inch pounds. So the new Makita bits averaged 161 inch pounds. The used bit broke at 161 inch pounds, the same as the average for the new bits. The first Irwin bit broke at 152 inch pounds. The second new Irwin bit performed slightly better at 158. The third bit was down slightly to 157 for an average of 156 for the three samples. The used Irwin bit broke at 151 inch pounds. The first new Milwaukee bit broke at 161 inch pounds. The second bit did slightly better at 164. The third bit broke at 158 inch pounds. So the new Milwaukee bits averaged 161 inch pounds. The used Milwaukee bit broke at 166 inch pounds, which is slightly more than the new bits. The Weirer did by far the best yet at 196 inch pounds on the first sample. The second bit did nearly as well at 192. The third bit broke at 190. So the Weirer averaged 193 inch pounds, very impressive. The used Weirer bit performed extremely well at 196 inch pounds. Taking an average of the three new bits, the Weirer was by far the strongest bit at 193 inch pounds, Wea 173, Master Force 171, Bosch, Hercules, and Cobalt 164, and Makita and Milwaukee 161 inch pounds. It was pretty interesting that some of the used bits outperformed the new ones. So after using a bit for driving and removing 100 screws, the Weirer came out on top at 196 inch pounds, Master Force 183, Wea 168, Milwaukee 166, and Bauer 164 inch pounds. Some of the brands are definitely a lot better than others. However, I've distorted a lot of bits from making three mistakes, usually when I'm in a hurry. The first mistake is to remove the bit from the screw while the impact wrench is still turning. This causes a lot of wear to the tip as well as the flutes. The second mistake that I've made is not to have the bit lined up with the screw. This causes a lot of wear to the flutes and sometimes the bit becomes detached from the screw. The final mistake is probably the one I make the most often, which is to start the impact driver before having the bit fully installed in the screw. This causes a lot of wear to the tip as well as the flutes. So which brand is the best? Well, I think that really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for the strongest bit, the wear is definitely the brand to select. However, it's also very expensive at over $3 per bit. However, if you're looking for the best value, I really like the DeWalt brand quite a bit. It's very affordable and it performed extremely well. The Milwaukee and the Makita are also very good brands, but they do cost a little bit more. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.